Hello and welcome everybody. In this video training today, we are gonna be talking about the missing piece to actually manifesting your dreams into reality. So my name is Nancy Ray Allen and I am your epic life and business coach. And um, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot lately is people not understanding that you can actually live your dream. And what do I mean by dream? I mean your ideal lifestyle, your ideal income, and your ideal career. And this lack of belief is driven oftentimes by the fact that people have no idea how fucking brilliant, powerful, and capable they are. So one of the first things I see missing in people is confidence. Actually owning their shit. I was talking to a client about this 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 morning actually, because she puts out incredible content online. So I have a client who has 15 years experience in telemarketing. That's a lot of, that's a lot of experience, right? Over 40,000 hours talking to people on the phone, booking demos, right? And, and spreading the word for the company that she's working for. That's a lot of time and energy. So she's coming live and she's sharing topics uh, tips through, oh my gosh, amazing things that she does to sell over the phone, to build business over the phone. And I was watching some of her lives last night and the content is good, you guys. It's really, really good. But her confidence, mm, not so much. And this is what I want you to hear is people don't often listen so much to what you're saying. They're listening to how you're saying it, the energy you're bringing, the confidence you're bringing, the certainty that you are bringing. That's what people are really purchasing from you. Whether they're get, buying, buying in by giving you an email, that's a purchase, right? There's an exchange there. They're giving you an email. Whether they're buying one of your lower end products or services or taking you up on any sort of freebie thing, anytime they're raising their hand, they're buying in. And what they're really buying, you guys, is the energy. It's the belief. It's the confidence. The second missing piece I really see is people not knowing and owning their genius. What is it that you are expertly good at that you do unlike anybody else? What is that for you? And this is one of my gifts, actually seeing people's genius and helping them activate it. Because it's so tricky, you guys, when you're inside your head, when you're inside your own world, the thing that you're a genius at comes so naturally to you. It's second nature. You do it even when you're down in the dumps you have this ability and this knack for this certain area and it's really largely unencumbered by other events in your life. It is so natural to you. It's your gift and it is why you are here. But oftentimes we don't fully see it or fully own it or fully recognize it and we have no idea that it's there. You, you get to take a good look in the mirror through loving genius eyes and see what's great about you. you. You really, really do. And I'm gonna share with you, so I did an event last fall. And before I attended this speaking event, I, okay, so let's rewind. About two months before this speaking event, I was making two to $3,000 a month in my business, that's it. And the month before this speaking event, I had my first $12,000 month. And it's because I had finally figured out what my genius was, which was seeing and activating other people's genius. So when I went on that stage, I fully owned the fact that I knew that. Now, when I first got on this stage, the audience was, you know, it had just been a break, so they were kind of tussling around. It was, they are kind of having a lot of side conversations and whatever, and at one moment, I just kind of put my, my foot down and lovingly, jokingly said something like, like, uh, here's the thing, like, shut up, listen to me. And I shared a quick little story validating what I was about to tell them, and they all shut up, they all were like, and started, started really, really listening because I brought a certainty and a confidence that if they would just shut up and listen to me, they would start making money in their businesses. When you really know and own what you're good at, and part of that is also knowing what you're not good at and being specific. People keep thinking like, oh, if people are gonna pay me for something, I've gotta be good at everything. And they keep trying to add skills to their backpack that aren't even really theirs or aren't even their favorite or aren't even their genius. If you want to make beautiful impact on this planet, if you want to make great compensation for living in your genius, you get to know what the fuck that is. What is your genius? And then when you figure it out, I want you to be confident in it. There's no reason to be like, you know, apologetically brilliant. You're not good at everything. 
that is okay. It's actually that way on purpose. Things are designed to be that way so that we need each other. And I'm speaking from really raw experience here where for a long time I believed that if people were going to listen to me and trust me and value the work that I do with them in my coaching programs and what I do on stage, that I had to know everything and that I had to be good at everything. And what that really did was make me brilliant at nothing. I want you to stop trying to be good at everything. And I want you to get brilliant at one fucking thing. And when you see what those weaknesses are, let's work around them. The key to, all right, so I was actually explaining this to a client earlier. People are magnetized and drawn to people that are full of energy, full of drive. And what brings that is a pure connection to source energy. And we're moving into this right now. A lot of you people who are on the cutting edge of consciousness, the badasses that I attract in my space, you know and see this. We're getting to a place where we're no longer drawing energy or power from dominating other people or controlling our lives. We're starting to get energy directly from source. But here's what I found. If you are not confident and fully engaged with the zest and the unique genius you bring to the planet, you aren't as receptive to receiving source energy. There's a lack of feeling worthy of it. There's a lack of even feeling like you need it. It's like, well, I don't really need it. I'm not doing anything important with this energy. Go, you know, shine your light on somebody else. But when you get a fire inside of you, when you, when you understand, when you flip that genius knob, all of a sudden, now that you have a purpose and a why to what you're doing, you open up and you are flooded with light. You are flooded with power. This is something you get to do. It is time for your lifestyle, your business, to be built around your genius and your preferences. What are you really, really good at? Awesome. Let's capitalize on those things and build around those things. I'm seeing this huge gap where people are not able to actually put their genius on paper, create strategies, and bring it out into the planet. That's the real fun, easy part. You guys, that can be so fun and easy. And if that's not your strength, lean on me. Find somebody that understands how to recognize your genius and how to monetize the fuck out of it. I want you to know that whatever it is that is your gift here on the planet, you can be beautifully brilliantly and abundantly compensated for it. And it's actually your birthright. It's what you are meant to do. But as long as you are chasing the next dollar, as long as you're chasing approval, as long as you're chasing being liked, as long as you're chasing fame or, or something, you're not going to be able to find it. You get to slow down to, to speed up. You get to go slower so you can go faster and you can build beautiful, huge, abundant businesses in short amount of time. Truly, very, very short amount of time. I spent the first three and a half years of my business struggling and very, very slow progress and not making much money. And then I finally had an explosion of growth because I got everything lined up. My genius, my beliefs, and my inspired action. These things all get to happen all together. And you can build a strategy to guarantee it happens. I don't want your dream to be, oh, I hope someday it will happen. It's not just if it will happen, it's when will it happen? Hmm, this is so great. I have all the strategies in place. I'm taking the action. It's not a matter of if, it's just when. It's only a matter of time. I want you to know whatever it is that thing inside of you that lights you up, that has you on fire, you can make a living doing that thing. And you are of the most value to yourself, to your family, to the whole world when you are living that way. Whatever your dream is, I want you to know, yes, it is possible. I love you. Be sure to share this out.